Good morning. This is Romel Suna with Fix NM Agro Life Extension, your 4 H agent. Today um, we're going to do a little bit something different than the videos that I've been doing for halter breaking and cattle. Uh, today we're here at Eliano Ranch and El Monte Ranch uh, Deer and Cattle Inc. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be supplementing wildlife, our deer operation with cottonseed. Um, sometimes, you know, we have to supplement our wildlife because of the nutritional factors that happen when there's not enough rain or things of that nature. Um, we've been blessed to have a little bit of rain, uh, but other places have gotten more than us. So what we're going to do is supplement our deer uh, with cottonseed, which is a nutritional protein for them. Uh, cottonseed probably has between 18 and 22 percent protein, uh, so that's always good. Uh, for their for wildlife and especially for the deer. Uh, there's two 300 acre properties uh, here. So we normally have about 80 to 100 head of deer that we supplement uh, every year. So uh, what we did was, this is one of our feeding areas. If you look over here, we have this, this uh, cotton seed feeder. It's a makeshift uh, feeder that my father and I and, and my brother and, and children made. Uh, this one fits probably around 400 pounds on this side what we did come a little closer what we did was we put some bull panel here uh, in order to keep the cotton seed uh, from coming out and right here there are some holes that we cut out so that the deer can put their mouths and and kind of eat the cotton seed on this side we made a another makeshift feeder uh, this is kind of like a chemical tank casing and what we did was we put some bull panel around it as well So that the cotton seed doesn't fall all over the place and this one fits about a thousand pounds So basically in this feeding area uh, It's probably going to be between 1400 and 1500 pounds of cotton seed uh, If you turn around that way There's a there's a pond over there for a watering source So what happens is when the deer come and eat cotton seed uh, they can come into the brush, they can go drink water and, uh, you know, go back into to their habitat. So right now these are empty, uh, probably in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, we'll have them full. Thank you. Uh, every now and then when you're out and about the ranch, you need to be careful. Uh, especially down here in South Texas with snakes, especially rattlesnakes. Uh, but in this case here, we have a indigo snake here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's blue or black, but I know it's an indigo snake. Uh, so these are the ones that kind of eat the rattlesnakes, that eat them and kill them. So it's always good to have these around. Um, so it's always a good you know, thing when you see them and, and see Mother Nature at its best out at the ranch. As you all can see, we've finished uh, feeding the first uh, cottonseed area that we have. Um, you're looking probably at around 1,500 pounds of cottonseed. Uh, we started at 722 this morning and we finished at 752, which is about 30 minutes um, that it took us to, to fill this up. Uh, you know, and, and right now um, I have my brother and my son and my dad helping, so with help, you know we can get it done in this trailer this is our cotton seed trailer uh, this morning before we emptied out these 1500 pounds we had 9960 pounds in this trailer so we've dropped it about 1500 pounds we still have about 7500 left uh, in here um, so as we continue to fill I will continue to show you the different feeding stations that we have so like I said uh, cotton seed is a nutritional factor and a nutritional feed that supplement that we put for our wildlife in order to continue our deer operation here so we'll see you soon the second cotton seed feeding station has a 1,000 pound feeder as well as we continue to walk this way we made two 300 pound feeders out of chicken wire and put a T post there so that uh, it stays there. So those will be filled up uh, in a few minutes. You also see a protein feeder there and you see a watering hole for the animals to come drink water if they need to. 
This is station two, filled up with 1,500 pounds. This is the third uh, feeding station that we have. We have an 1,000 pound feeder, and we also have two 250 pounds with a watering hole for water sources. This is station three, filled up with another 1,500 pounds. The last and final station has an 1,000 pound feeder with a 250 pound cottonseed feeder, along with watering sources, a watering hole for them to come and have everything they need. Station four filled up with 1,250 pounds. Started with 9,960 and we put out 5,270 pounds. In the next two pictures, you'll see deer from 2018, 2019, 2019, 2020. The significant difference with cottonseed and the nutritional protein it offers is what you want. Better body conditions, bigger racks, and more Boone and Crockett. So cottonseed plays a big role in nutritional protein value for wildlife. All these deer in our property have nice, shiny, healthy coats along with nicer racks because of the supplemental protein of the cottonseed that we provide for them. Each station had brush, fenced in, and a watering source for them to come in, drink water, eat, and go back into the brush so that they feel comfortable and they're able to hide for cover if need be. Okay guys, uh, this concludes uh, the video for today. Uh, it took us about uh, two hours to fill up uh, the entire uh, 600 acres. Like I mentioned before, there's two, two uh, 300 acre pastures here uh, that we run about 100 to 80 head of, of deer with a, and white tails uh, specifically. Uh, so throughout the video, you know, you'll see the different uh, feeding stations. You'll see uh, the different uh, watering holes. Uh, you'll see some uh, some cattle and, and some land. You know, so like I said, this is something a little different uh, that I wanted to kind of show you all. Um, you know, as we uh, go into the summer, you know, these things are very, are very, uh, you know, so things that you have to think about as far as wildlife is concerned, and especially people who have uh, wildlife operations. Uh, with that being said, everybody have a happy Memorial Day, and remember to give thanks to those uh, that died defending our country. Thank you. Have a blessed day.